college for women, the new year not only brought a new beginning, but great changes to the institution. Its name was changed from D G S W C to Valdosta State College, and men were admitted to, as students to the university. In the first class, there were a few brave pioneers surrounded by the best looking girls in the South. Word traveled fast and the number of men quickly grew. By 1956, the men outnumbered the women on campus. To tell you their experiences firsthand, we have Ralph Brown, class of 1952, and Hanson Carter, class of 1957, to share their reminiscences with us. Thank you. It was quite an experience in the uh, early 50s, and I'd just like to share a couple of those things with you. But first, I'd like to say on behalf of the alumni, we certainly appreciate the effort that uh, the committee, the people who worked on this program today have gone to. You have gone overboard. You have done a wonderful job of making us feel uh, co uh, comfortable. And I think the committee and whomever is responsible for it, I have no idea how many certainly deserve a round of applause. Please. I entered uh, VSC in the summer of 1950, officially. Um, I guess there were two reasons that I came to VSC. Uh, one, at Emory Junior College, I had been attending two years. I had finished the two years out there, and there was not much hope of going other places. So when they opened up VSC, uh, and as I remember, the tuition at that time was $50 a quarter. It was very uh, attractive. The other thing that made it attractive was a uh, five foot two brunette with blue eyes that invited me to the 1949 Christmas dance. And this year, uh, on approximately the same date, we will celebrate our 47th anniversary. <laughs> Attending BSC in the summer of 1950, I enrolled in the uh, education program because I wanted to be a school teacher. And they said the only thing that was available was elementary education. One of the requirements of elementary education was a home ec course. <laughs> <laughs> professor looked at me and she says, there's no way we're going to put you in a home ec course. So you'll have to take the first course by correspondence. So I took general nutrition from the University of Georgia correspondence in 1950 as part of my entrance into BSC. Uh, another interesting thing that was male, I mean, uh, gender related, was general psychology. And I was met at the door one day as the class was entering, and the uh, lady that was teaching the course said, if you don't mind, I'd like for you to wait outside just a few minutes. There's some things about human development that I want to discuss, and I'll, I'll talk about it later. <laughs> I, always, I told the young ladies that were in the class they owe it to me because I don't remember anything on that chapter being on any of the tests. <laughs> the uh, student teaching came around in, in the spring of 52, and uh, they were assigning the teachers, student teachers at that time to Moultrie. And uh, lady, the professor called me in one day and says, we got a problem. I said, oh, my goodness, you know, what have we done now? She says that the contract we have with the lady in Moultrie in the boarding house says there's no way that you're going to board in that house. <laughs> so they got me a room in the YMCA next door, and uh, we com I completed my student teaching uh, at, uh, at Moultrie. And, uh, due to a couple of other things uh, at that time, namely the Korean War, draft status, and this, that, and the other. I left VSC and graduated in June of 52 and entered the Air Force. And I came back in 73, and I uh, have the distinction of having a daughter, a wife, both have masters from VSC, and, and believe me, across this country as we've traveled, uh, Valdosta State, uh, 
college or Valdosta State University as it is now is well known. We've worn our little uh, sweaters and, and we've gotten raves wherever we've gone, Alaska, uh, Europe. Oh, I know, I went to VSC. I knew somebody went to VSC. So I'd like to think that uh, in 1950, when uh, the uh, decision made to let uh, men attend the university, uh, the college, is part of the background of the foundation that's caused Valdosta State University to be what it is today. You can certainly be proud of it. It's an honor to be a graduate of VSU, VSC, and, uh, and I'm extremely proud of the things that, uh, that have been accomplished here in our hometown. Thank you.